So finally, I was able to get my second rig up and running, 12 Pallet Jetstream GTX 1070 video cards running on Simple Mining OS. Currently mining Zcash at 5,000 solutions per second. Let's get on the details of this build, shall we? My additional 6 orders finally arrived to complete the 12 GPU rig setup. The board that I'm using is the Biostar TB250 BTC Pro mining board. It features 12 PCIe slots, 11 of which are PCIe 1X and 1 PCIe 16X slot. 1 GB RAM stick and 1 Intel G4560 processor recycled from my previous build. A lot of riser cards. I can't stress enough how important it is to stock up on riser cards. For this batch, I bought 20 pieces riser cards and 2 already were found to be faulty. I'm also using 2 server PSUs, 1200 and 1600 watts. Best thing? I can run the OS using a thumb drive. Gets me to save a bit on cost. So why did I chose to run a 12 GPU mining setup using Simple Mining OS? I'll be posting a video of my frustrations with running a mixed mining rig on Windows but to summarize, there were too many complications and errors when I was running a rig using Windows. I would constantly get update errors, kernel errors, had to constantly uninstall, reinstall drivers, ah, too much of a hassle. Okay, so what are the steps to get things rolling? First, download an updated BIOS file of the motherboard. If this is the first time you'll be using this motherboard, chances are the BIOS isn't updated yet. You can download through their website, simply download and then copy in a USB drive. Next, create an account on simplemining.net and download a copy of the OS, flash it on a USB drive. This should be another USB drive, different from the one where you save your BIOS update. All the initial setup steps can be read on the website. Once you have Simple Mining OS Flash in a USB drive, it's now time to start building your grade. Here's the order I usually follow. First, install the CPU to the motherboard. Second, install the 8GB RAM. Next, connect the CPU and motherboard power supply cables. Next, insert the thumb drive with the motherboard BIOS update. Connect the keyboard and a monitor. This particular motherboard only has a DVI slot, so better take note of it. At this point, no need to connect the video cards just yet. So, power up the motherboard. If you need help in figuring out how to do this, click on the video to find out how. Open the BIOS settings and update the BIOS by pressing F12. This will take a few minutes. Once it has finished updating, the system will restart. After which, you'll just have to access the BIOS again. Next, go to chipset, select mining mode, Still under chipset, go to System Agent Configuration and select PEG for your primary display. Select 3.5GB for max solute. Enable above 4G MMIQ BIOS assignment. Now in my experience, selecting PCIe link speeds to auto, Gen 1, or Gen 2 all work. Not sure with Gen 3 though, I haven't tried that yet but everything else seems to work just fine. We're not done yet, go to boot configuration and enable CSM support. Change the storage to use EFI. That felt like a tongue twister. Once you've done that, save your changes and exit BIOS. Shut down the system, remove the power cables because it's time to connect the video cards. But before doing so, you need to make sure to avoid any electrostatic discharge. Try to get a static wristband. If you don't have one, just place your hands on the casing of your power supply. Keep it there for about 5 to 10 seconds before continuing on any installations. This minimizes the risk of doing static electricity damage to any of your PC components. Let's continue. Once you've connected all your GPUs to your risers, connect the PCIe connectors to the motherboard. Insert the thumb drive with the Simple Mining OS installed. Connect the power supply cord and fire up the system. It should load the Simple Mining OS. Updates for drivers, miners, and others are automatically done by the OS. You just need to power it up and it will load automatically. The screen actually is showing the miner running already, but there will be initializations prior to the miner running. Just for a few seconds. Now for those wondering how come you can see 3 power supplies and 2 motherboards in my setup, that's because I temporarily set my 3rd planned rig beside my 2nd rig. Remember the 2 RX cards I bought previously? Well, such a shame to just park it somewhere so I decided to put them to good use. So that's about it for my 12 GPU video build. Hope it helped you figure out how to build yours. For questions, please feel free to post it on the comment section below. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned for more videos to come. Happy mining!